YouTube, welcome back to another Genshin Story Quest reaction. Today we have Bird Lady, Shen Yun, Cloud Rotator is here, and one thinks that one is going to hear a lot of yapping. Well, she's pretty, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> I've heard the quest is pretty good, so I'm excited to get immersed into it and see what it's all about. Thanks for watching with us over here. Subscribe if you're new and come to the Twitch stream down below where we play this stuff live. Come be a part of the community, man. They're all over here. Hope you enjoy. Let's hop into it. Don't say frick YouTube, they're good people. I love the unlock feature. It's like a reward every time it happens. A thousand moonlit miles. Paimon has a sudden yearning for the quirky stories told by Cloud Retainer. Like out of nowhere. Go to Meld Okong to see the Adeptus with whom you're quite familiar. Hi, YouTube. We've been to so many places lately. What do you say we take a day off from adventuring and just find somewhere nice to relax? <laughs> Did Luke's face during this? Hmm. Let Paimon think. No. Where are some nice no. places we should go? Home. Oh, why don't we pay Cloud Retainer a visit at Mount Absong? What does it's it translate into, by the way? I'll see her turn into a person. A very attractive person, not just a bird. Dude, Luke looks so sad to be doing this, by the way. Also, what is the translation on his scroll when that pops in? Cloud Artainer, are you home? No, I, wait, I have to do this correctly. I have to summon her the right way. My contraptions are huh. one knows how to fly, bitch. There she is. There I am. Oh, did I just die? Am I gonna die? Right outside her place. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We I barely do. And, everything. and when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Lila Harbor. <laughs> I thought she'd be impossible to get. I remember that part. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. Would it have been so bad if she squashed us? Would it have been so bad? We probably don't need to bring probably any not. offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Mm, still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. I said what I said. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? I don't think we've ever seen her before. So this is their first time seeing... A human form. Oh, what a pretty lady! <laughs> Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Damn! Seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus. Yeah, you're right. How long until they oh, realize? One look and you can tell she's someone special. As expected, <laughs> that bird lady really. She must have a whole bunch of adepti friends from all over the country. They don't know who's gonna tell her. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association. That's not how right? it works at all, Paimon. Want to go up to her and say hello? I guess we'll do it. Who knew you're such a social butterfly, Paimon? Helping you make more connections. Blue is lips. It's kind of green. Greenish blue. Paimon's got this. Da -da. Leeway music, S tier. <laughs> Still probably my favorite. Um, Holy hello. fucking leg. That is a whole lot of. She's built, man. She's built wide. Um, Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon is Paimon. <laughs> um, um, Paimon's really good in social aspects, huh? Met, but we're also I'd be shaking too, honestly. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two. You don't know me? What is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Yeah, usually you're a little furrier. A little more featherier. Wait, you're... Cloud Retainer? Huh? You're the illuminated bird? But you look a little less storky. It's like we forgot the whole thing that we've learned, by the way. We learned the entire thing about the fact that they can change form. Mata Ping already went through this. Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. Why now? So, uh, you're indulging now because? Well... One has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Oh, we're gonna have Taking Shinha? Taking human form for Ganyu? such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. Yeah, it would be weird to see a bird walking around town. I ain't gonna lie, that's a fair point. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of 
several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of the <laughs> every morning. Or... <clears throat> One is speaking. It felt like Cloud of Tenor has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. Hmm. Interesting. Madam Ping chooses that form she has, though, right? Do we know what... I mean, we saw young Madam Ping. She chooses the old lady form, though, still now. Technically, Madam Ping, could she turn back if she wanted to look youthful? To, well, let's be honest. If the answer is yes to that... Yeah, she chooses that. We all know Madam Ping turns it on a little younger sometimes when she wants to go out on the town at night. I would. Because, I mean, she. I think she. what she said was that she turns it to the old form to be respected and so that she doesn't have to do any work. <laughs> but on the weekends, I would be looking youthful. That's just me. Hey! Didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? <laughs> oh, so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Most commendable from one. Me for real. Um. Yeah. Well, this is all Paimon Sky. You don't mind, right? She's got so much open back. One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary. It is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the kind gift of nice is but back, a trivial huh? matter. <sighs> that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. <laughs> anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gift? Clarence has said that she's going to visit some of her disciples, so we get to see Shenha and Ganyu. I doubt we're going to be able to see their lantern right outfits until next ah! week. When the patch so comes out, all the update. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation. Oh, what a bill, you bro. Raise the matter yourself. Shanha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company. I love our life as travelers. We save a nation from drowning. We like figure out stuff about a god had been secretly not a god for 500 years. We're like, we'll just go see that bird lady now. We'll like, go do that. Yeah, we just, we just kind of like, want to go do that. To see how you were doing. We, we have were such freedom in this world. One of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm. Is that so? We love you. If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue. How are we going to call you this though? Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. I'm gonna call you Cloud Retainer the whole quest. That's great. Then let's all go to Leeway Harbor. It's like they're the main character or something. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, it's like it's my world. A thousand moonlit miles. Her <sighs> design is growing on me a Ganyu lot. has been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one talent the number of times she returns to Mount Outsong each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me. She wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Wait, she sounds sad. Huh. Do they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfied. Wait, she's just being a mom. She's visiting them being their mom. She's kind of sad that they're not visiting anymore because they're busy with life and work. And now she's going to go check on them. Da, 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 da. At Wei Hai Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? Has she ever? I guess we have no idea if Shen Ha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. I already am a hot mom. Wait, yeah. Where did she go? Huh. She didn't come with us. Oh. <laughs> Why are you just standing there, Cloud Retainer? She's nervous, I'm calling it. Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. She wants to watch from a distance? Uh, together hmm. if one were to proudly proclaim one's presence Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit one fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost she's time. so worried about her well-being one does not wish to trouble her conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being again do not mention one's presence here. Don't tell him your mom's watching. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud retainer? Oh, I see mom anywhere. Oh. <laughs> so she hasn't seen the form before. Oh. Busted. Is that but. lady 
someone you know, Ms. Ganyu. That's my mom. She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? She dropped At least everything. My today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. How does she know? It's like she knew exactly what Ganyu would do. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Imagine your mom visiting you mid-shift, though. Yeah, imagine my mom visiting me mid-shift. While I'm subathoning for 147 days. <laughs> am I mid-shift? Is this midway? How far into my shift am I, by the way? I don't... Nobody's let me know when I can clock out. Thank you, Huixin. I'm halfway through? Okay. <laughs> okay, shift never ends. That sounds fair. <laughs> Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. <laughs> Why were you looking you at her? You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this Cloud Retainer of who Oh, yeah, see. yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. I'm not Cloud Retainer. Huh? Seeing she's not by. Look at her smile. <clears throat> that was... Uh, but a simple test. <laughs> one did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. As a bird. Ganyu looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> like your daughter. An apt observation. Well, I, how could you forget this appearance? One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. What's the business then? Why else are you in town? Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh. <laughs> Paimon's really fast with this. She, ca she caught herself, Paimon though. Right. What's up, Alyssa? Got something oh, yo. Super important to do, so... Yeah. Today. Wow, Paimon actually was quite aware of the situation for oh, once. Is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. She said, come see me at home sometime, please. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Damn, that is the mother line if I ever <sighs> heard one. It still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. A grown lady. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. This is so sweet, man. <laughs> Cloud Retainer, <laughs> stop! <laughs> if you insist. We are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. She's really bringing up her past. Got you blushing so cute. You discussed some of your recent visions wow. gone you. You've yeah, I say so Fontaine. Places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at UI High Pavilion. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, ah. don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? I'm surprised she hasn't yet, because this is not the first time she's been in this form. Huh. I wish they let me pick. You raise a valid point. Mommy retainer. <laughs> the extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. You really think so? I not that you're not famous or anything, but that's famous? She said, who do you really think you even are? I mean you're not you're not Zhang Li. You're not Rex Lapis. Let's be honest. You're like a like a C tier celebrity. <laughs> you not an archon. to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point that was on, a quick decision. when public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun? What's the origin of this? Uh, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. 
An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and She's unfeared. so smart. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of Adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? So, wait, you're not just a bird? And what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? You were just a bird to me for a long time. She was involved, by the way, with saving Liyue. All of the... All of us were, as a matter of fact. We were all saving us from that beast on the Jade Chamber. And do we not remember that? She was a part of it. Not exactly. That's totally what Paimon had him on. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. And we know I don't be reading. It is said that once, so I don't a know. long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, She's so tall. simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the land. If not for Cloud Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. Her contraptions probably cleared it out. The All that wind. The to say about what happened. Upon arrival, Edemo. the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Wind. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away. And the people were saved. Oh, she played God. What the heck? That's incredible. I want to see that cutscene. I feel like they can improve this game and their story quests. If midway through, like right here, we're like, what? 20 minutes now into playing this quest. They give us a short cutscene to describe it. It's like the immersion lock-in would be even deeper if they took time to put a cutscene here. To show off things like that. Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Surely they would have. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Thanks to the reset, Bonjo. the weather like the book said? Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. <laughs> uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not too mad, are you? I kind of like Paimon in this quest today. <laughs> He's not bad. Laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. And she's and understandable. Will continue to Understanding. Call you feels right in the moment. <laughs> well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? What is her sister? She procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? How much money is she making? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? <laughs> that is a lot of questions. She's taking care of herself. Is she sleeping? Does she there need food? Is no does she need clothes? There is concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. I don't remember Cloud Retainer being this motherly when we first met her. This, like, nice. It took a while to get her to warm Wanda up. One restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shanling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. She I works see. at the restaurant? Most excellent, indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Shangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has like, what no was cause the goat? to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. The bear goat. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the Vittles of Noon, Vittles. One shall visit one Vittles, new restaurant man? in person and see how Shenhe is doing. Uh huh? But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? That was the thing. Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? <laughs> you may return to your work, on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to die. One, together one, in the one, one. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. So she's a waitress. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon? I'll see you some other time. We're gonna go there and Shinha's gonna come serve us food. Like, uh, mom? You knew I work here? Paimon was pretty 
quick on the uptake there, don't you think? As soon as you mentioned important <laughs> Pretty quick on the uptake. Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? They're making Paimon yeah, aware. Fact, They're addressing how bad she's been. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Wait, for real? Oh, she didn't lie. The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed She's to evolving. Huh. Paimon's been pretty she bad in some really of these quests lately. She's playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? Yeah, Paimon in the previous quest we've had, especially like for Reno, has been very unaware. So I feel like that one line of Paimon being like, see, Paimon like figured it out and she's aware. Is the writers being like, look, dude, we know she was bad. <laughs> Let's see my other daughter, Shinhan, now. There she is. I wish they had their new skins on. The new skins look so much I'm better. Saying, right? What are they about to get it into? Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady. Right? Trying to hit on her? Fellas, listen. I like Shinha as much as the next guy. I don't I don't know if you know what you're getting yourself into here. Oh, I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering <laughs> any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Let me leave my number for her. You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. <laughs> She's coming. Hi, 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 hello. Hi, hi, how you doing? Hi. What can I get for you today? Ooh. Uh, love? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... What would you like to order? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, um, they fall to their knees. Two servings of Mora meat to go. Oh, good chat. Oh, everybody's all big talk until the big strong lady walks up on you. And then you back up and quiver like little kids. Wow. Bro has social anxiety. I can handle all that. That's just me. Hey, mom. Shana! Her clothes are so pretty. Welcome. It's been a while. <laughs> May I take your order? Do you see your mom? Don't welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> and Paimon knows that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and this is? Do you not know? Do you not know? Master? Oh, thank God. Huh? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able wow. to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? She knows her mom. I've trained and lived with Master for more than 10 years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. Recognize the smell. <gasps> Thanks to the subs. Oh, Master? You love me. Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out the great food, too! <laughs> Indeed. Hi, Mom. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. Of course I'm still she knows her mom. And can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it's it the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. W boss. Boss that doesn't get on your case for every little thing. Go ahead. Sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. And I'm still on the clock. Good boss. Let's catch up a little bit, girl. Is there a place to eat over here? Bro, I've never realized there's a dining area over here. I never walked behind these buildings. I didn't know you could sit here. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? There is that Can you not so normally far. sit here? I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've been making progress. The weirdos are too so scared of her. Dealing with them, you mean... <laughs> she... You haven't murdered anybody, right? <laughs> First, I tried to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. <laughs> She's... She said I threatened them with violence. So real. She's so real for that. Oh, uh, 
She tries to be civil I first. Sounds reasonable enough. Uh, to be honest, if it ends civil, it ends civil. Oh, a sensible She's so, plan. so real for that. Is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. Is that the word we would use, so well? And you, Master, how have you been? A bird. Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I bet she gets really lonely up there. Just with some birds and some, like, squirrels and stuff. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. Hmm. <laughs> what she means to say is she actually misses the two of you a lot. Translator. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? Family reunion? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. Just tell me. Whoa. Her mood shot up just like that. By the way, <laughs> Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, True. have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? We just did. <laughs> Indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow oh, me shit. to also share a story about Master's past. Man, I can't. I don't remember much about the initial quest where we met Shinha and Cloud Retainer, but I'm realizing now just how much I like Shinha's design and her character. This is definitely a pull for me next time she comes oh? around. Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No. I didn't really read or watch quests that One much was back then. Caught off guard. I was very no casual. Matter. Please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Moon Carver. Cussing here would go After crazy. Moon Carver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. <laughs> in response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Moon Carver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. What kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? <laughs> oh, How about electric an bike? Electro-powered bicycle? Oh, you refer to the bicyclical thunder flash mobile. <laughs> One spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy. <laughs> And it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Bro, why are we not putting this everywhere in Liyue? Travel across Tavat would be solved. Like, people are out here carrying carriages on their back with, like, cabbages and shit. Why are we not utilizing this and making an industry out of it? What the hell? Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. <laughs> Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. I would love to see that cutscene. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous Sell this. One I'd buy. One was mere seconds from victory. Does need a double energy, true. Course, and failed to make it across the final stretch. Oh, shit. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. I said she lost it. Do go on, Shenha. Master, that was the end of that story. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. <laughs> what is a race without spectators after that all? That would be kind of lit. Have you been lonely, Master? Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an She's eye. She's lonely. Say it. Even be honest. Even own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. I could never be sad that you're not at home and I'm alone on a mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the reason for that look upon your face? My name's Paimon. I'm very self-aware today. It's nothing. It's just... Well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. Dog, she's just having a hard time being honest. I'm just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? Bo, she could be lonely and a goat. To me, 
They are both master. I'm saying, Shana. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Huh. One finds one. She was recovering so fast. With sweet words of praise and flattery of a most holy line. Nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. One would almost question the sincerity Bruh. of your estimations. She said, do you really even like my, me as your mom? This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. A shoe all action <laughs> and abide that. by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. Oh, to be the NPC in the background of all of this. Imagine being that lifeless, thoughtless thing. Just with a bunch of food in front of you that you could never touch. Listening to two hot women and a child talk. She got like, what, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her ego is about to burst. Do you have any empty tables? Oh, it's about to pick up again. Shut up! Hey there, could we get another fish stew? Oh, it's picking up fast. She doesn't gotta get back to work. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. After all she trained for for like 10 years, she's just now a waitress. Alright, good luck with the lunchtime rush, huh? Gotta grind, you gotta do what you gotta do, pay the mm -hmm. bills. I'll try my best. Now she's back to work. As more and more guests begin to trickle in, Paimon and take the opportunity to eat. So much yummy food! Paimon's gonna feed! <laughs> Look at Paimon's eyes. Can you eat this kind of food, Flower Xander? Does she... I don't think she eats to sustain. She doesn't need it, right? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, that meat looks raw. One has been struck by quite it's fucking a raw. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Damn. Everything's supreme cuisine so tasty. machines. A bit too hot at times, but still it's super da, tasty. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Bro, we're sold Shall out. We somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. <laughs> Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Get out of here, Grandma. We're, we're busy. We're full. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. We got two open seats right here. Oh, no, Paimon, sit. Sit in one. Paimon, quick, sit. Sit. Oh, sh Paimon's me? floating. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? We're kind of too famous. I don't mind. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Yuendai? Granny? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? Does she not look like a granny? No, no. Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Does she? Does she look young? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. <laughs> I know somebody like that. <sighs> oh, hey. <laughs> granny? I know Why another Granny. Come on, it's not polite to stare. Huh. Have we met before? Maybe friends from when she was a kid or something? No. Just a faded meeting then. Please, take a seat. Hmm. Okay. What would you like to eat, Granny? My Granny looks really young. I want braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. What? Is she also a bird? <sighs> no, no, not this again. Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? I mean, maybe Cloud Alexander does. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. I... Uh, need any help? <laughs> Give her some of our food. Help? Oh, do you mean with 
Granny. Thanks. That's nice of you to offer. Oh. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory's oh. getting worse all the time. That's so sad. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Oh, and the small kid is taking care of her. She's like seven. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little, but it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. That this just got so terribly sad. They died young. It's just me and Granny now. Oh, um, uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot. The vibes. And I love her a lot too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Well, now we gotta pay for the meal. Now we gotta buy their meal. Now I feel bad. And now we gotta buy their meal. And now we gotta share our food. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is this is sad. This is very sad. Wow. You're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> You're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? <laughs> You're great for your age, too. You're tough, too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. And you're always there for me. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? That is so sad. It's so real because I have so, I have people in my life or like all the people who've gone through this ah, that I I've watched her stand. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Someone? Huh? That sounds super important. <laughs> But how come you've never told me about it before? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Now that I do not remember. Wait. So you it's a have reoccurring a reoccurring dream. dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. Oh, does that mean you're possessed? <laughs> Come on. Stop. Stop right now. Stop what you're doing. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. No need for the Yaksha. Are you sure? Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? <laughs> mm, Am I mm, not mm. an expert? Mm -mm, don't leak, no leaks. Uh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. <laughs> in that case, do you still remember what the, the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? Does Cloud Regenerator kind of look like a younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. Kind of? What is going on here? She kind of resembles her younger self, maybe? I don't know. As one said. Because that's why she might recognize her. Us together. You may leave this situation to me. Maybe she modeled her body after her younger version. Are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Shen Yun. Paimon's Paimon. And I'm voiceless. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Venmo? PayPal? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Shh. Oh, we do. I got wishes to pull. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Sup, Bridget? Genuine? What exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. So that's the quest. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you Look at the hairpiece, too. It feels similar to, like... I don't know, Shen Yun's weapon or something, or like a device. Why, of course I do. The heavens above. I mean, ain't no free meals like here. Below, the wispy clouds and the emerald mountain streams. So everywhere. Okay, taking that as a no. Okay, Paimon, let her have a moment. She's relishing in the past, dog. Jesus. I might have an idea. Once when I was really little, my 
dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. Her herpes does seem to be herpes. Well, maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shinjo knows tons about Lula's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Oh, we're going to see Shing Cho today. Guild. Yeah, I didn't expect him to be pulling I'll up in this. Already, but I'm still hungry. Oh, let's eat first then. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. No earthworms. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild. But they give her a lot of lines. And Shu Yu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Street Word Rambler. She changes her language from one has to I have. Maybe if strangers are around. Street Word Rambler? Oh, oh yeah. Precisely. It's been a Let while since we saw her too. Terrace once you are ready. Okay, nice. All right, Granny. Have good food. Oh. Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Fresh milk. I need to buy you some fresh milk. Oh, no. Milk? What? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Hush, little one. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. I can eat spicy food now. Even the super spicy dishes, like their fish stew. I can are you eat sure? Two whole bowls, no problem. Your feet don't touch the ground. Are you sure? Wonderful. How oh, wonderful. She's like realizing. My darling granddaughter is all grown up. It's so sad. It's so sad. She's like had to be reminded that I'm grown. Skyward. Shinha, you were you working? Oh, Shinha's working. Hey, girl. Let me leave my number on the receipt. Uh, Guys, have you ever done that before? Have you ever left a number on the receipt anywhere? I should get paid in another few days. Shall we take the opportunity to go out and have some fun? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is my version of fun right here. Doing a quick pull. Bang. That's fun. I'm broke now. There he is. Reading a book about birds. Huh. For some reason. It's you two. What brings you here? I lucky forget what his voice sounds like. Shinjo! Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. I'm not dying my hair yet today. So for you explain the situation to Shinjo. Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But Considering her age, such big fluffy I am reminded cuffs. of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from Shen 50 Yun? years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit oh. camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. Mm. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Shinjo. Sorry, there's some potential we here. We're talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Bro has read every book in the way. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Shinjo. Sounds like they could be parents. Her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless Wang heroine Shu always in. appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jueyun Karst, and Qingyun Peak. Okay. Perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. 
That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. <laughs> Big help. You're welcome. We'll give you a free skin because to of be that. Honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Uendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. The dementia. Rumors that she became extremely She probably doesn't Ill. even remember what she was at all. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. Or maybe she forgot something, though. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's Thanks, a Xingqiu. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Xingqiu. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Did... Shin Yu or Cloud Retainer model her story after this? Or oh, this is just her story been placed on the wrong person? Oh, I don't right. There's a drought in this story too. Um, Xing Cho, I Maybe it just happened two different times. Or something. Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops 50 withered, years ago. the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. Damn. That sounds awful. Yeah. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Hmm. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Maybe Cloud Retainer is the one that helped the old disasters, but the Do newer ones wasn't her. Questions? 50 years ago is so recently away history. Now, we're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yunyun and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. Wonder so who, I wonder who her kids, her kids are. Anyway, we'll be off now. It's no see you for lantern, right, buddy? Later, dude. I'll see you when you got better drip. I'll come back when you're wearing some cooler clothes, brother. Well, well, well. That's three wells for each of us. I'm a bird. I have recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. The spin crystal is so pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Straight word, but ping. <laughs> What has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has wrought such change in this world, and yet you appear just the same as ever. Kafka's chair, thanks for the follow. Time has little bearing on one's existence. It does look like a big gummy. <laughs> one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Oh, song. Nevertheless, I always say that wrong. I see. I would Akong. like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. <laughs> what is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. Approximately, Hi, how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor, not unlike the one that you yourself lead? She want to come live down here? Hmm. It Move closer to her kids. As much as you may think. Still, do you mean that? You want to live near your kids? Oh, she wants to be near them. That's a so sweet. <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinto has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Yundai have joined up with us again. 
Shuyu and Yuandai soon arrive at the scene. Paimon relation shows theory that she is like a god among Don't men. Be troubled, young lady. Here, have some fun. Have some tea. Thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Maybe this will spark her memory. What you know of your granny? Hmm. According to the story, the name Where's of granny going? eventually fell in love with an exorcist oh, she's here. from Mount Tianhung. Maybe. That's my grandpa. But what happened to your parents? How did they die young? I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. We should probably pay a visit to the, the places mentioned in the books. I think so too. Granny might remember Can she get on up there to a familiar place. and travel that far? What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in it. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature and that peace. Yeah, we definitely gotta revisit these places to spark these memories. So? Then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Madam Ping, you know you could turn real young if you wanted to. Thank you. Let's rest here for a while okay. then. Since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. Da -da 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 I'm sure they couldn't hear us anyways. They're kind of old. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. <laughs> Too real. Hi, Lei. Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. Way too far. Are you guys all a duck guy in disguise? <laughs> well, I would tell you that. The bird costume? Oh! Uh, how about that? Ah, uh, maybe. Well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. She said adept it and then cut herself off, okay? Oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Is Shen Yun. It could have been a beauty. Misspoke. She's a cop. Maybe you can explain to show you here what you really meant by that. Tell her you're a deputy cop. <laughs> One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? Huh? She said, "Who's asking?" I knew it. She intimidating the child? Well, one time when I was <laughs> a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky oh, and shit. gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house <laughs> and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. She was being a mom to kids that weren't even her own. So I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe... Any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? Maybe. A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Pure white. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus Wait, maybe that's with such features. Her grandma. One surmise is such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, American Cloud Retainer. Anyway. <laughs> 2 point really model. Help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us. Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first. Okay. Field trip. I'll go get Granny. Time for a field trip, guys. Get in my backpack. We're going IRLing. Da 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 da. <gasps> Madam Ping, I'll come back for you later. Leaving already? Madam Ping, Ping playable win. Next year? Oh. Wang Shu in. Wang Shu in. I had C6 Madam Ping instantly. This place, Granny? Gil for real is crazy. Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. 
It had a window. We're getting some stuff yes. back. Yes, I can win. I didn't mean to skip over that. I have a heavy finger. Let's go see your old room. Shell's always here, you're right. What she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, then she lives here, right? Wait. Lament jump scare. I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Lament jump scare. If you're here, <laughs> then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. Bro, we got the whole cast in this quest. Holy it's been shit! A while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. Well, you've seen it before, then. I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh shit. Chill. Oh wait, last cool time I take a guess. Was it anything like this? <laughs> Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism. What the fuck? Surrender or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. Okay, scenes like this, good. How you verse? If you're watching this, check it off your list. This is fucking good. This is funny. Little scenes like that. Need more, invitation. more of that. Good part of line. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you described. That was funny. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. Oh, seven the goat. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. Cloud retainer who barely talks? <laughs> I can't picture it. <laughs> oh my. If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you lot. to take up your bird form again? <laughs> Have you pulled her before in the game? She talks a Once lot. Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals. What use would one still have for such a shape? To look cool as hell? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... Of what? If one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Really? Maybe it's related okay? to Ganyu or Shinha? Uh, back then, at this place, I... Oh, so sad. Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. See you next patch, buddy, or banner rotation. I will pull you for you. If encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud... I would have used this so much. I trust you are in good hands. I would just, like, call him up and see what's up all the time. Okay, and just Everyone, like that, he's gone. I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what gone. has been recalled. What a TP out. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Shinto said was true. You this did is the person out. we're looking for, then. Is that why you went into hiding? I don't da, remember. Da, da, da. I'm very sorry, but... But I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me. And there was no cure for it. Damn. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew. You know how why. scary dementia has to be, man? To have no recollection of the things that have gone on around you, but just feeling the emotions anyways. This is one of the most scary things a human being can live through. One day I met a traveling merchant. Upon she was so of young. my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. He told me that the pills were concocted using Adepti blood 
and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after so that. The dementia you're suffering from now is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just oh. a relapse of what happened all those years ago? Let's give her more pills then. We just find a way to like recreate this medicine. And it was all thanks Let's talk to Baiju. Talk to Baiju. Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. Mm. <sighs> oh, if only I wasn't so useless. <laughs> so sad. Hey, you're not useless. <laughs> You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. Yeah, it is it's really hard, man. Yourself. Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding Consciousness is at all. wild. Let us make haste to the next location. Next Two more location. to go. Next, there isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, so I got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. <laughs> At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendy's memories in no time. All right, let's go to place number two. Sing Shao was cool. Little Adeptus, X Yaksha reunion. Oh Ooh, shit! Don't worry, I'll deal with this. We're plunging Diluc. Hoop ball, oh, hoop ball. Oh. <laughs> plunging Diluc meta. Damn. Dago, thanks for the five gifted, man. Where did that come from? Why'd you do that? Thank you for the five. Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Get some drinks in the chat for that. Let me think. I feel like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. We have to beat up all the treasure holders first. Wait a second. Uh oh. If I remember correctly, I believe I brought. Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. <laughs> She's so cute. Go on. Take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. She a real grandma. Oh, thank you. Then Paimon will help herself. <laughs> Palma never has problems with that. Anything new here? The music's so pretty. Why don't we take a break over there? This place. It's familiar. It's definitely not up to Osha code, that's for sure. Show you. Show you. This is where your father was born. It oh. was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us. I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on, so we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Run away from her duties that she has? She's chased by this black fog. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest 
and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. Maybe this quest is a prerequisite to the next dang quest? Yeah, that dark father was chasing her. My dad? Yeah, he's gone, buddy. He was my pride and joy. And so How did they I die is the question. You. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're always going to be different from me. Oh. I... Why? Just what did I do? Man, the frustration. I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. Damn. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. Mm, I really want to know more about what was chasing her. Correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? Can you make it up the mountain? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry how far is to keep that? everyone waiting. Climb on. I shall carry okay. you to the top. Climb on. That's right. She's not walking. Okay. Such lightness of weight. <laughs> All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, Damn! You end up losing everything. Because I didn't sign up to be depressed today! My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. We all die one Fred day! Not, you have my aid in this endeavor. I don't want to think about this. Not crying, man. I hate and love old people. I just want to protect her. <gasps> We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny? She's gonna have an, aw an awakening. Let me see. How strange. Have I lived here before? In another form, maybe. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Hmm. But did the stories get it wrong then? Can't expect everything to get it right. Yeah, that's true. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm Maybe sorry we're not in the right to spot. disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Get some tissues. If only I could remember. It's ramping up to get more emotional. Huh? That way. That's, that's the mountain. one. That's Cloud Retainer's house. Looks like we've come full circle. Uh oh. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Sounds familiar. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I. What am I really? Huh? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I. I can't go back. There's pain. Are you feeling unwell? My head. It feels all heavy and dizzy. I just what is wrong with me? What is happening? Cloud Miss Yanyun, is there anything you can do? Cloud. Let us go to Mount Outsong. Let's fly what? over there. Fret not. All will be well. You and I. You have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. A new tool or the gadget? Wait, really? When did you do that? Yeah, you've been with us the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Why didn't you mention this earlier? We, I mean, did you want to like naturally do it before you like had to manufacture it yourself? That kind of makes sense. All right, all right, Granny, you on my back? We're going up high. Skyward, 
Dude, moving around with her has got to be some of the most fluid movement in the video game. It helps you get so up high. Getting that initial burst into the air. I like it more than anybody else's movement right now. Skyward, scatter! Bro, I was not patient. Here. It's been two this minutes. This was on your desk when we got here. Hi. I didn't question it. Is this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first? I didn't think here? anything of it. Precisely, a recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the suspensus somnium mechanism. Suspensus somnium. It's like a Harry Potter spell. It releases a soft breeze, which, when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax. And even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Bro, I need this for when I go to sleep. <laughs> Soothing agitation and anxiety. Relieving yep. exhaustion and insomnia. Yep. Its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. She needs to be selling these to people. <laughs> oh, what a cool gadget! They need a dental energy to run though, I'm sure. Why did you keep it to yourself until just now? To see if she can naturally get recovered. Preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, True. the device would have nothing to draw upon. We adepti can only help those who first resolve to woman. help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Primine thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal oh, tune is yeah. required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her da, melodies da, da, can the mechanism da, da. reach its peak power. Damn, this is Madame Ping on the beat. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying da, down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. <laughs> and you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> She's already out. <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. Let her think about it. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. Oh. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even oh. for a second. Oh. Please. Please, no. This is so sad. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. The transition. So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. Great. We all knew it was going to be her. But the realization was so nice. Hey, are you okay? Cloud retainer. She remembers you. Hmm. Your memories have returned. Come on, you've known all along. You just don't want to tell her. Wait. What is the frog doing, guys? Name? Does that mean. Are y'all friends? You already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Rooney, please don't What the worry. frog doing? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. What I'm so sorry, doing? everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. A bird. 
One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. She gonna tell us? Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shu Yu, everyone, I cannot this thank be a good you enough scene? for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. We're getting a darker tone. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Joy and Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years living on Mount Out. Centuries. Bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me, hmm. though she never took what the me frog on as doing a now? formal disciple. <laughs> I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new doing? inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. It's like slowly sinking further into this. I was just trying to enjoy the story, bro. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, 50 years ago. 50 the drought? years ago? During the drought. That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. How you just conjure this? She warned me that the potion's effects What's would the science only last it? ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, uh... I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh no! So that's so that the was dementia. The source of your dementia all along. But you never turn back into a crane, though. This is because of Because you were in love with somebody. You don't want to go back to being a bird. Guys, would you still love me if I was a bird? Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When no. we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. Oh. <laughs> but still, just like me, Pause he cared deeply about the world and wanted more than anything to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But what my a time man. continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a... I That's what came I after her. I Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. So she knew all along. 
This whole time. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. Wow. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world such that no one would be able to find me again. So that's why the nameless heroine hid herself but away. that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I she never turned into the beast, that my though. pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray mm. for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. Was it her that was the merchant? <laughs> it was her that was. Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? <laughs> tea oh. pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? How could he have just got those? Be. Master, don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually. Bro. This whole story is about how good of a mom Cloud Retainer is. Even you and I, and all of her mistakes that she made, or like running away from who she really was, was still followed from a distance from her mom and taken care of. <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Huh. Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. It was a gift from mom. <sighs> So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes just tied from the world and greatly. hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew it's a wedding I gift all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with such ease every time. <laughs> Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own. No matter what form they may take. He said that's my kid, bro. Best mom in the game, Shin Yoon. Wait, wait, wait. My mom's confused. So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. That's probably why she's so close to Ganyu and uh, Shenha. So this kind of thing is like preventable from distance being created. Oh, follow the memories and find the truth. One was this the trial? Upon oh, receiving nice. Letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. I want to see her build here. What do they have her at when you get this a trial? 90 cranes echoing call 8811 c3 no standard yeah. Got him. So this landscape is so pretty is that wong shu in this is Sour. like this is old leeway look where we're at by the way in truth one had more than a few misgivings about your Old chosen school partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. <laughs> could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. <laughs> she was disapproving. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies, <laughs> glaring though they may have been. Wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Wow. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. This all makes sense now. As for how to deliver the medicine, 
After much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. Did you transform into a merchant man with a mustache? Did her mom put on a mustache? One took great her mom care put on to alter one's features <laughs> and select the appropriate She did. Time. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu in. Bro, she can be anything she wants. That's crazy. What a broken ability is to be able to do anything. This is the Kapaimon mustache. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> do it right now, grow the mustache. Common. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? Sad. You know, being here and seeing old school Liyue where the grass looks a little bit more lively and the bridges look fresh, like pretty fresh. <laughs> this would be cool to have walkthroughs of like Connery and Disaster when we get to the real serious stuff. Of, like how the world used to live. Imagine being able to play on a map of Genshin that was like the other map. Oh, you also have two bursts of E with higher cons. I didn't realize that either. Back to back is pretty cool. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter. If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember to think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child had one not intervened to clear the fog so that's what that would have been lost during the night so cloud center was even protecting her yeah. oh my god yeah. while she was trying to give birth yeah, yeah i kind of want more cons so i can do that yeah. more frequently Wow, she really is the best mom. Scatter! Skyward! Seize the sky! Just a protective mother. She had like this barrier up and she's fighting outside for the life of her grandchild. See one's the extra jump. I really shouldn't top up again, but like. Clouds converge. Yeah. And now I'll just plunge attack. Oh, plunging attack solo is pretty good here. While I'm waiting for it to reload. Nice. I hate being poor. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Said godly remains. In turn, inside your body, drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. One was, after all, an active participant Damn. in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. Bro, and I would love to see cutscenes of that. Shin Yun shattering gods. In the end, that'd be sick. One was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn. One heard an infant's cry pierce through the air, and one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. And this quest became way more than I ever imagined it would. There's a really big payoff for this tie around here. This is, that's, so imagine her there watching. I wish we could see them inside holding the baby. Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, yep. one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities <laughs> of that tale. I already gotta see little little version. Okay, Leeway looks pretty much the same. 
I want to see it from above though. How far out did they let us see? They don't let me climb much higher. No, I'm stuck. There's a barrier. Frick. I'm going to break through the barrier. I'm going to break the game. I broke through. Freaking barrier, bro. Skyward, scatter. Skyward, scatter. Yeah, it would be good as like a poster. What up, Asuna? Breaking yeah. domains. I just want to get on the roof and see old Leo, eh? Ah! Huh, whatever. You're going to let me see down on the coast if it's the last thing I do. Yeah. Scatter. All right, whatever. So, welcome to the story quest. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so her did house? you give one many a headache. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. She looked barely bigger than she is now. When one asked you why, <laughs> Apparently, you believe that one could not possibly be a true Adeptus because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body <laughs> to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. <laughs> so you wait, you can grow a mustache naturally, but you can't just turn your bird form into pure white without powder? I'm uh, I'm lining the, those details up there. It bears mentioning Girls of mustache however, naturally. That as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you Unless that was artificial as well. Form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. That was a good recap of all the events. Not the birdies use of makeup though, not her getting a powder like a, like a now powder applicator all has been revealed. Beauty blender. <sighs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Nin restaurant. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. A third daughter. Indeed. One wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed that you makes all sense. you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Sometimes people who are forgetful, if you tell them everything right away, they might freak out. Memories are might cause stress. When recalled by those who lived through them. To be natural. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master Can I have a hug, I, Mom? I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? Because good parents let you go through it yourself. One has never regarded your action as a mistake. Dang. It was a simple choice. Nothing more. It's what you decide to do in your it story. It's time for one's progeny to leave the nest. It is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. And it's like the best parental figure you could have. Someone who lets you do your thing, but will be there for you when you fuck up and you mess this up. It's a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home. Home, nest, haven, whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. My allergies one act them all, man. Of, course, <laughs> of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish, yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. Come back home, though. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. Do you? One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. 
Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time. Is she gonna die? Is she done now? Delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Why the layer to rest? The power of an adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. What, like a hilly troll? Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming or worse. your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's going to happen to Granny? Who's going to take care of Shuyu? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. So she'll just be a natural crane. She's got to go back to being a regular crane, mm. huh? It's no other way. You've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? It's not going to be much at all, is it? <sighs> mm -hmm. Not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny, please don't leave, okay? <laughs> You're all I have left. Please. And now the kids can be alone because the parents are dead. <laughs> Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Does this mean that Clouderton gets a new kid to take care of, though? Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. That's so sad, dude. Promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes... We'll be able to live together again. She'll be all by that time. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. That resonates with Lumine heavily. I'll eat well, Granny. I'll eat well. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm not dying. I'm just I'm becoming so a bird. Sorry, and I'll be back. Thank you. For everything. The transformation back to a bird now. The silence is so loud. I'll be back as a bird. Kaka! Wow. And there she goes. Wow, imagine that just happens. Your grandma turns into a bird. Shoo you. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Oh, seven, Grandma. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. <sighs> Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Okay, Mom. Keep this music playing though. I'm a little stressed out though. Oh, here's the cutscene. Whoa. The music really does it.
She's back already? Dude, she's back already? Oh, this is a dream. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I always believed we would see each other again. That our days of separation would finally end. And That's all the my thing troubles the trailer. would be behind me. Just to, like be with your brother after this long. I want them to be happy, man. If only things could stay this way forever. <sighs> it's just not reality right now. She's crying, waking up too. A nightmare? Curious. If you're relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? Well, they were, but... It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. Damn. <sighs> Mom knows best. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Come, come. Give hug. Give me a hug. God, we need more scenes like this in Genshin Impact. Eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. <laughs> you are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, the one head is back. always here for you. Thanks, Mom. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Why did this make Shenyun one of my favorite characters in the game? This one cutscene, this one quest. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined the whole thing. <laughs> she chews off her own finger. She thinks it's a drumstick. Oh no, it wasn't real. She's eating her. <laughs> Mine is one finger. That was really great. Supremely great. Dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks. That's all. I didn't really think I was going to be so attached to Cloud or Tanner as a character into this. Madam Adeptus? I thought for a second that it was real and that she had come back oh, so fast. Oh, you? You're awake. How do you feel? I... But no. It could be a time, a a time between. <laughs> Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday. Madam Adeptus? Could I, uh, ask you something? Another kid to adopt. Take me in as a disciple? I almost was like ready to skip this character because like, oh, I gotta save for future ones, but hey, this is a good character to have. Oh. And have you reasons for this sudden Great interest? Great personality. I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it, but without that mistake, I would have never been born. True. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day... I'd love to like revisit this in time if she like grew up and became strong and I could become a cool well. adeptus like you and help a whole bunch of people just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection... You're not just a mere mortal. You are no mere mortal. That's what I was just to say. The fact blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Plus one daughter. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, Master. Uh, Chewie, are you sure about this? Right, where else is she going to go? Simon's going to let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, <laughs> and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like chin chin and violet grass. <laughs> if you 
join them, you'll never enjoy one minute restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. Bro, one of them literally serves great food all day now. Uh, how utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Eat what you want. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? <laughs> okay. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Hall. She's moving! Oh, that's she, right. You shall have the honor of becoming one's first, first disciple. disciple in the human world. So he gets to grow up around her siblings, Shinhong Ganyu. You're leaving Mount Outsong? Is that why you took on the human form? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's out. residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. So why shouldn't I? One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. Really? A failing, perhaps, of recognizing... What it oh. was they truly wanted. A relationship. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter. But perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Time to Why get her moved in. Why are you all so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So... Does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor some time? All she's thinking about. Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. More dates with Shen Yun. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. Thanks for the follow. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. She's so, like Hannah uh, Montana, but a word. When can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. Yeah, will this kid have a cryovision like her sister's? One has already picked out a That's handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, Man, but she got money. what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Tr a... Man, she gets it. Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how Maybe should be animal, yeah. In Liyue Harbor in two days. A sensible plan. See you then. Bye, cool. mom. Also, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime Maybe teapot? you feel ill at ease in the future, decoration. You may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. And we got a gift. Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Back to Shincho. Did we get a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's How are you feeling, totally kid? Up to you. By the way, Shuyu, we have a friend who helped us learn a lot of information about your game. Teapot decor sleigh. Like, sure. I don't, I don't think she'd want too many people to know. They might go to Mount Outsong and start bugging her about it. Granny needs to focus on her training, you know? But telling a friend or two is probably fine. No probably worries. fine. Oh, that was one of the best cutscenes and tie rounds to a story I think we've ever had in the game. From the musket event to this, they are really stepping up just the quality of how the story is wrapped together. So, about your move to Liyue? I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Those two old fossils <laughs> will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. I want to see their human forms. Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, however, escapades. I find myself caring little for how they shall receive this news. <laughs> Fuck Moon Carver Mountain Shaper Whatever I don't care bro The hug shatter me Lumin and Aether Need to be reunited Yeah that's the scene That we saw in the The trailer For 4.4 Is that reuniting And People are like Yeah it's gonna be a dream It literally was a dream The whole time it Makes me more excited For Lancer Red than ever friends. Great And it's all thanks to you Oh Zach is also Moon Carver 
I didn't know that. Sea. Why is this guy my way? So the stories didn't get I remember so little all. about them. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a heavy burden that most this guy hope to understand. Scene bombing me. Thank goodness for the help of that adeptus. At least she was able to recover what she had lost. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here. He knows. I trust the ending will be a happy one. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry. I'll keep this all to myself. It's not my story to tell, after all. And for that, you're rewarded with new drip. Stay tuned for Lantern Rite. Lantern Rite's gonna be cool now that we have Hume to form Shen Yun. Hey there, don't Yinger, not right now. Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. Oh. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. We are already <laughs> angering the people. Uh, to be Haggling. quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. You've been here for a day. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. <laughs> I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back. Not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. I guess you can never. Are you be trying too to careful. sell stuff? We're here, Crow. Uh, but, uh, send you. Union, what are you guys arguing about? Ah, perfect timing. This I I'll have I didn't you mean know. to skip that. These Fuck. items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. It's bull malarkey. She says stuff like that all the time. Years. Fiddlesticks. It, indeed. Family um, heirlooms. They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep. They've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. Are these concept arts the ones you just sent me? They're just concept. They're not like anything actual right hear that had i not found myself in need of mora i would scarcely have had the heart to part with them indeed you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity <laughs> to behold them with your own eyes an artist made these oh shit i like this one a lot wait these two look really good Moody Carver as well. Okay, I think my favorite one's probably him because of the blue. Those are really good concepts. That would Don't make a lot of money. Any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Hot man oh, error oh, in the on the go. way. I apologize for any insult, Miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. He should be here shortly. An expert, you say? Watch it be like Zhang Li or somebody. Uh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. <laughs> if you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Master! Oh, it's you two again. Hello. He's very cautious. He's a good businessman. Shiryu! You got a oh. new It looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. It's a very cloud retainer refit. Huh? You know how to make clothes? It fits her color scheme perfectly. It's like matching. <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? <laughs> With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. Dog, she can make like adeptal medicine to turn people or birds into people and suppress Master, problems. I brought in most of course of she could sew. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fred not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, That's actually, so sweet. I, I should probably and grow uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything's kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um not look yet, Master. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Respecting her privacy. Another W mom thing. Now, this expert you mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? I can so, yeah. Soon, soon. Probably. Ah, there he is. Here, allow me I to make I told you. This is Mr. Jean. I told a you. Consultant at Literally Jean called Funeral it. Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Actually called it. Mr. Zhang Li. Mom and this Dad. This is Miss Shen Yun. Her eyes. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Uh. Uh. uh this is awkward. Ah. Uh, 
If it isn't Miss Shen, yeah, not Cloud It's been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. Hello, Shen Yun. Um, in, indeed, most <laughs> serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? You know I'm a bird, right? <laughs> Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Simple life, huh? Huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? You could say you could say that. Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. He's Alibener. She is well versed in all fields and oft celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this opportunity. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. <laughs> it's a side eye from Lumin. Why, you flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self-effacing as ever. Zhao literally has Shenyun's hair in Zhang Li's eyes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not at all. What y'all been up to before? Um, while I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must well, ask. Well, well, well. You two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? <laughs> I mean, you never know. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate for you, huh? Huh, a preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built Contracts. on and trust. Kind of heard his voice in if forever. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Damn, they're business people. Say no more. Let us depart. Haggling. Uh, I just... Damn, I just, the movement. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for See? the goods? See? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. <laughs> they are a tag team. I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, the one its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical know your wonders. place. With I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. Give her top dollar. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. I'll take the whole However, thing. since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Fiduciary. <laughs> I fear people only <laughs> use the term bank nowadays. In that case, in the I'll last be hundred years, you. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. That's a good little John Lee cameo at the end of the quest. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing here? Why are you not a bird?" <gasps> snore, snore. She just snored on him right now. My friends, have you been doing well? Well, we've done a lot. We've been great. How about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant. Part-time job from working at the funeral, funeral parlor? My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, <laughs> I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? It's actually quite a nice house. I must say... The name Shenyun right on the, uh, the, the harbor. strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. <laughs> Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, that is true, but... More than friends. 
Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. They're flirting. One's previous stays were all Make brief. it less obvious. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, kid is a new dad. One has gained so, a like, much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city. Hubbub. As well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people. They're so poetic and, and old. From turmoil or old and peace, shit. Enlightenment to aspiration. They're the most yappy ones Human out society here. Society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. Imagine them at a yap off. Who would win? <laughs> Here we go on the history of everything sentimental. You make a valid point, Paimon. Hundreds of years. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? Let's fucking go! One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. It's kind of mid. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so... Logic dictates that you should have already tried it. <laughs> oh, was it just so not rememberable? Oh, so what forgetful. What was this? It was a reunion between friends several <laughs> centuries ago. Three hundred years ago. Alas, <laughs> you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion, or perhaps our other How companions does he simply this? availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Huh? Hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. <laughs> it is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab roe tofu, triple layered consomme. Jesus! We shall enjoy the lot. I'm not eating for free. One has already passed word to Shen Hun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? If it's on the house, yeah. It should be a most splendid occasion. Shu Yu, come now. This is a big is family dinner. Ah. This gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He's your new father. He is, um... He's your dad now. A humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Stepdad Zhang Li. Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus' Temptation? <laughs> I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, because it, it's right, super tempting yeah. and stuff. Is that true? It's also impossible to make because you have to find all the fucking ingredients for it. Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? I'm going to look out the behind. Hey, hey, wait up! <laughs> Let me see who? That was really good. Is that the end of the quest? A thousand moonlit miles completed. Yeah, there is a lot to that one, but one of the best tie arounds. Like it felt like a small little adventure to visit her two daughters, Shin Hung on you, but she gained two more in the process. Read the note, is this the note? Unsigned letter. What seems to be a book of accounts, a letter can also be found inside. Little you, my dear daughter, by the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go on for a long journey. Your granny may get a little forgetful at times, so try not to try to jot down little reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take care of granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why mommy and daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Did you know daddy was actually awfully sick as a child? How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel daddy's pulse. It was that week, but daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when daddy thought he would not make it. In the end though, daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe daddy is just really lucky or who knows, maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out for him. Well, either way, daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told daddy that the mission would be super dangerous. Both mommy and daddy decided to sign up. You'll have grown up quite a bit taller the next time mommy and daddy see you. Maybe you'll be big by then that mommy and daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code. You still remember that one phrase daddy taught you when you were little? 
That could be our secret code the next time we see each other. The way we shall recognize each other no matter what. While the middle of the stands guards, evil shall never prevail. Duck, stop saying daddy so much. Daddy. Well, you want me to fill in with a filler word every time? Keep saying daddy, gotcha W. They died in battle. Yeah, so they're definitely dead. That's very sad, man. What is this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this has to be it. This has to be their family. They're not even making it not obvious anymore. Any minute. Any, like, look at this. Gui Zhong is gone. Nah. Cloud Retainer's in. Well, that's the true ending of all of it. Thanks for watching on YouTube. If you checked it out to this point, come to the Twitch stream down below. If you invested so much time into watching this with me, I hope you enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. One of the best cutscenes of the game. They keep getting better and better. And honestly, top 10 story, I think, so far. From Story Quest, at least. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Take it easy. And bye. I'm gonna go eat meat now.